Hi, in this video, I will explain how I create animations and map tiles with Pixel Lab. To give some background, Pixel Lab is a plugin for Asaprite that I and my brother is developing. I start off by using the Start Image tool. I pick the size I want my dragon to be and use the description Cute Dragon. I am pretty happy with the result, but my dragon has no wings, so I add the shape of wings and use it as an init image. This fixes the wings and adds more detail to the dragon. I will do this again, changing the init strength a bit to make the dragon look even better. When I am happy with the result, I then use the rotation tool to rotate my dragon. I edit the rotation a bit before starting to create the animation. I want to make a flying animation for my dragon, so I start off by adding fly as action. When creating an animation, I recommend at first just trying to generate and see what happens. If you notice the model is struggling, I recommend using init images. What I usually do when creating the init images is take the generations that I kinda like and edit them into the shape of what I want them to look like, then generate again using the init images I made. Depending on how much you want the generation to look like your init images, change the init strength accordingly. A good thing to note is that the movement model can be used to extend animations as it will attempt to generate the next frames in the animation. You can use reference images to give the model two previous frames, which will usually help improve the results. When I am almost done with the animation, I will use reshape to do some finishing touches. This can be done using the movement model as well, but I find the reshape tool to be very good at smaller changes, like moving the tail, arms, wings, etc. When using the reshape tool, you want to draw the new shape in black in the reshape layer. When creating attack animations, I recommend moving your character a bit to the side so the model has more room to generate the effects. In this instance, I tried just generating attack animations but wasn't super happy with the results, so I decided to use init images to help guide the model. Now I will be creating a map for my dragon. Here I have an idea of what I want my map to look like, so I draw a init image and use it to give the model an idea of what I want. I make a mistake here and forget to inpaint the water, ending up not changing the water. To get consistent style on the map, you want to select areas so that the model always gets to see some of the map tiles. It is important to note that the inpainting decides what the model sees and where it can paint. <laughs> 